algebraic fractions. So algebraic fractions involve fractions with algebraic terms, not just numbers. And we can do our operations very similar to how we do normal fractions, but they just involve a bit of algebra as well. Let's have a look at some examples. 4x over 19 plus 5x over 19. Well, here the denominators are the same when we add fractions, which is good. That just means we keep the denominator the same when we add the numerators together. And 4x plus 5x gives us 9x. And we can't simplify that, so that's our final answer. What about 6x over 5 minus 2x over 10? Here we've got fractions with different denominators, which means, which means we can't subtract them straight away. We need to make the denominators the same. The lowest common multiple for these denominators is 10. So we need to make both the denominators equal to 10. One of them is already 10, so we don't have to do anything with that one. But to change a 5 into a 10, we times it by 2. Whatever you do the denominator, we do to the numerator. So 2 times 6x gives us 12x. 2 times 5 gives us 10, that's what we want, minus our 2x over 10. Now the denominators are the same. So we can keep the denominator the same and just subtract the numerators. 12x minus 2x gives us 10x. Now, 10 divided by 10 is going to simplify to 1, so we're left with 1x, but we're just going to write x. What about 4x over 10 multiplied by 3y over 2? Well, when we multiply fractions, we multiply numerator with numerator and denominator with denominator. So we're going to have 4x times 3y over 10 times 2, which is 20. Now 4x times 3y, well 4 times 3 is 12. x times y is just xy, because they're not like terms, we just write them next to each other, over 20. This can be simplified a little bit because we can divide both of these by 4. 12 divided by 4 is going to give us 3xy, and 20 divided by 4 is 5, so our final answer is 3xy over 5. We could have simplified this fraction up here straight away by dividing both of these by 2, or even diagonally dividing both of these by 2 you would have got the same answer. Let's look at one more. x over 4 divided by 15y over 2. Well, remember, when we divide fractions, we keep the first fraction the same, we flip the second fraction, and we change the division sign to a multiplication sign, and now we can just multiply two fractions like we normally would. So numerator times numerator over denominator times denominator. x times 2 is just 2x. 4 times 15y is going to be 60y. We can simplify this a little bit with the numbers because they're both divisible by 2. 2 divided by 2 gives us 1. So we're just left with 1x or just x. And 60 divided by 2 is 30, so we're left with 30y in the denominator.